Hey everyone, this is Genesis here. I'm coming to you with another video about VCOM AI this time around. So this is an update on what I've been working on here and there as I've had time. Uh, the primary thing I've been working on has been the supports for VCOM AI and deploying static weapons. So currently static weapons are only vanilla and only, they only work to respond to certain ones in certain ways. It's very specific and the code is very inefficient. So today, I've been able to reduce the code, well I guess want to be today, but uh, recently I was able to reduce the code down to a total number of like what, 24 lines in total? And it used to be over like 200 to just put out the static here, to deploy the static. Uh, this is for packing it. I was able to kind of redo in the FSM, set up the static, it's all now just right in here instead of being in a separate function. So just a little bit easier to run. I believe this is more efficient to put it right into the FSM this way. Uh, and I'm able to add in dynamic support for mods. So what that means is uh, it should work just fine with any mod now as long as they're properly configured. And it should be much more efficient and quick. So before there was always like a little delay. So if I like to spawn these guys in. And take this. Down. I'm going to target that. Much quicker, he deploys it static. And there's a new thing now I have is this new way how the statics can handle. So he'll remain in the static form as long as there are enemy contact that he can see uh, that they're aware of. Now, when they're not aware of any current enemies, his time being on static gets slowly reduces down to a counter of zero. Once it's zero, then he'll pack it up and move. So it's much more dynamic with those stay, where they'll stay, how they'll stay. So something to just keep in mind of as well. It's very nice. So, let's uh, so deploying some smoke grenades already more properly, which is nice. I've been working on a couple other things as well, but this is the one I, that is fully finished and ready to showcase. So let's, I have RHS running. Um, I don't think RHS, I couldn't find any, they don't have any units that just come with static weapons. No, that's not like it. So I'm just going to spawn a bunch of dudes here. And uh, I'm gonna use Arsenal here to give them bags from RHS to show at least this is you know dynamic enough to handle on the fly. So this guy will give him a um, an RHS. No, this is where it gets a little tricky. You have to know which one actually works. Like I think RHS for some reason the tripod the tripod bags are the ones that are defined as the actual, like, have the simple two action on them. It's like, I'm going to give an SPG-9 tripod bag. And then I'm going to give, let's see, this guy, I'll give him the, I don't know what this is. If it's a, so mortars have different rules. Just remember that mortars will not deploy their weapons if they can see the enemy or if they're too close. Because it just want to make any sense. You have this kind of tow tripod bag. Okay, so they're going to be, they'll have some static defense weapons. So we'll spawn in, uh, I don't know, like a, we'll spawn in a tank that maybe is going to be like unaware and we'll set up like a scenario here. It's like, there's a tank here. It's that way. Oh, but turn around for me. The IMPs are always such a pain in the ass. Okay, I've got a tank there. Where's he going? Why is he doing? Was he trying to turn around? He just wants to be... Right there. Okay, whatever. So here we have the squad here. They both deployed it because these are both RHS static weapons. And they actually can't see up. Oh, as if he keeps moving up that hill though. Bam! Does this guy want to fire? I don't know. Oh, maybe he can't see him. He probably couldn't see him. But you get the point. Oh yeah, I shoot that close, I'm not even sure. 
I thought it was like a little hill right here. <laughs> this is cruel. Yeah, those AI are smart enough to use their statics is a different story. I don't know... Actually, I'm just kind of curious about this. Will they not fire the statics if they're too close? Must be the case. Or can you not see him? Let's find out. <laughs> that was really loud. Just kind of hit or miss. But you get the point. So, the side deployment is much, much, much quicker and much more efficient. Uh, let's see if we can kind of get an example up here in a more proper location. We'll just put a uh, normal rifle squad here. I'm going to use Arsenal. Click on this guy. This AI is going to have... I'm going to give him a tail. I'm going to try the tail again. An Arsenal toe. Or, uh, sorry, a yeah, yeah. RHS toe. And this guy... Whoops, that's the wrong button. I don't want to take control of him. This guy I'm going to give... A dish com high tripod bag. It's because again, RHS usually uses the tripods for some reason, uh, and vanilla tends to be the bag, not the tripod. So keep that in mind if you're making missions or anything. And we'll do like a mixed. Pull them back a little bit so they can't see anything. And we'll do like a a mini little test here. We'll have a squad here, squad here. And we'll have uh, not a T100. We'll What's a good vehicle? We'll have a BRDM2 here. Facing this way. The squad will be facing that way. Turn the squad around. Turn oh, apparently, Blue 4 is already on to him. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at those statics. Looks like, uh, <laughs> this is something that's always been a huge hassle, even in Dissension. Yeah, we'll deploy statics and just fall. Understood. So what I think I need to do, and we'll do this real quick, is add in some coding location. <laughs> oh, AI, AI, they, they engaged, I didn't want them to engage, guys, why? So what we'll do is make it, if the AI are not inside the static, that they pick it up. So, let's take a look at this. So here's the code that when the AI deploys the static, and we'll pull up the code, uh, and this is the code to deploy the static here. So I'll say deploy it. That's, that's working really well. So you can see it's working pretty well. And then we have this problem where sometimes the statics will tip over. Actually, I'm going to do a quick search here. Um, just to see if anyone else had this issue before and have a fix for it, because that would also be... Static weapons fall over. Apparently, I'm the only one in the world that ever has this issue. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna. What I need to fix real quick is to make it so when they leave, like say that tips over and they get kicked out of the the gun, I need them to pack it up and try to move to a different location. Um, and try it again. So I'd rather just try them try to spam, put it down to find a good location finally. So if a live unit then so I want to add one more check to this. Unit Uh, now, if you're in a static, are you considered the gunner or a driver? Oh, I don't know. Well, we need to test. We need to test this real quick. If you are in a static, are you considered the driver or gunner? I would assume gunner. Looks 
So let's test this out quick. Okay. Ham. Driver, vehicle, player. It is a gunner, isn't it? Yep. So I want to change this to... Set it created. And we want to do not is null, right? Because what I'm thinking is. Driver. Look at that shells is null. So not is null. So if you, so this will end the loop. So if the if the gunner is null, it'll end the loop, and if the unit's alive, it'll force them to pick it up, delete the vehicle, and re, you know gives them the backpack again, where you can try again later. Uh, which I think is great. So let's go ahead and try that. So I'm going to restart the mission here. Find a hill here. I mean, something where they'll try to play it. I might tumble over or something. Here we go. Perfect. And I'm just going to test this with uh, normal AI here. Perfect. Now, if they don't fall off the edge. Okay. Well, and of course, it was a fine one this time. Jeez. Uh, quick response. Uh, then there should be a way, like, here, I'll just, like, kind of flip him over. Oops. Well, I'll test it too. Don't, don't. Cool. And it deletes it and gives it back to him. Look at that. That's exactly what we wanted. So that way, if it tumbles over and falls over, works just fine. So, VCOM is uh, working pretty well. Before we go out, I'll do one final treat. I will. Let's do like a couple of weapon squads, just vanilla weapon squads versus each other. Uh, we'll do support infantry. Might as well kind of just, you know, go big on it. Oh, that's going to be one big group. That's fine. And then we're going to go... I'm going to spawn them over here so they just don't shoot each other initially. I don't know how many groups I spawn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's turn these guys around. Tell them to go there. Tell these guys to go here. Let's, let's see what happens. I gave them the wrong one. Oh, well, let's see which is better. Grenades or 50 cal?
That inaccuracy, though, man. Holy cow, look at the amount of grenades going off. Ah, Blue Fire, they're definitely getting wrecked. There. Oh, there goes that guy. Some of them are trying to get out, but they're just getting way too suppressed. And weird. These two guys back here. Wow. Yeah, they're all just like trying to get out of the fucking airfield. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna go ahead. Now you can see some of the uh, statics are actually undeploying here. Because they uh, haven't had a target to shoot at for some time, so now they're moving again. Just like that. So it's working as intended, so now the squad can move together. Still have three here deployed, but. That one guy over here. This poor guy. Run, Jimmy! I think he's gonna survive. Ooh. Alright. So there's our test there. This is better than not. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.